Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome to my finished house tour. So the first room that you enter is the hallway and if you guys remember my first house tour when the house was completely just like a shell and I mean it was awful let's be honest. Um, the hallway I can't even remember what it looked like it was had horrible wooden floors the walls just weren't great this wasn't here any of this panelling so yeah we've completely transformed it it was also really dark so we made sure we got a front door with lots of windows to let the light in because obviously there's no windows in here and then yeah we went for kind of like a blue and white colour scheme it's really light and fresh and we kept it super simple with just you know block colours on the walls, really amazing, like kind of modern Victorian floor tiles. And then kept it super, super simple with just a little side table, which we kind of just like decorated with some like pampas grass and some a little picture of Lunar in Shadow. Somewhere to store our shoes, a mirror, which you can check yourself in before you leave the house. And yeah, that's it really. We changed the radiator. We want to put some pictures up so it's not completely finished. But yeah, I mean, it looks pretty finished. Um, but yeah, so this is the hallway. And then I'll take you into the living room, which is the first door on your left when you walk into the house. So now we are in the living room, which has kind of got a bit of a kind of like jungle, really dark kind of vibe, which we love. So we went for Farron and Ball um, Hague blue on the walls. We fell in love with the colour and also it's just somewhere really cosy at night So it's really dark and then we have like candles lit our lamps Like this is the room that we come into to watch TV at night Robin plays his PlayStation in here and stuff So yeah, this is just kind of like a really cosy vibe and I love it So we've got a giant sofa, which is so nice. The dogs absolutely love it This is from made.com then we've just got a coffee table, a couple of other little armchairs for when guests come around. Um, yeah, we've got this amazing fireplace, which if you can remember before, was basically just this bit, this cast iron bit with like a wooden shelf. Um, there was like this crazy floral like red wallpaper in here. It was awful before. I mean, I'm going to be putting in clips and photos of the room before um, compared to now. Obviously, you're going to see a huge transformation. Um, also, as well, if you want to see in-depth room tours of the full transformation of each individual room, there are videos of all of that whole process, and I've got a playlist of like my home renovation bit on here on YouTube. So make sure you check that out. Um, so yeah, absolutely love this space, and as you can see, it's completely transformed, and we kept it quite colourful. Love our gallery wall, and yeah, that's about it really in here. But yeah, I mean, you guys can see for yourselves so that it went through a huge transformation to get to what it is. Um, and actually, this room has only really recently been completely finished because we've got the windows painted white, um, and which we love. Huge bay window. It lets so much light in in the day. And then obviously at night, shut those really thick velvet curtains, which I've got handmade from eBay. And oh, it's just such a cosy space. Cool, so let's go back into the hallway now. And to what is at the end of the hallway behind this door is this shower room so this before was super damp super moldy it was really grotty it had a window at the back um, we filled that in and we kind of just really tried to just transform the space and kind of give it a bit of a like a luxury hotel kind of feel um, i haven't actually really showed you guys this space because it's only really within the last couple of weeks just been finished um, it was a hard space to work with. I did not get on very well with the tradesmen that we had. They were, weren't great. Um, the walls are wonky and the tiles aren't completely straight. It's not perfect, but it does the job and it looks great. And yeah, I love it. Let me take you guys in. So as you can see, it is a small space, like width ways to work with, but we managed to fit in a lovely sink from Heritage Bathrooms. We managed to find a short depth toilet because some toilets come out too far. So I managed to find this one where we could basically, you know, it have a, a decent gap here to walk into to get into the shower. Because obviously, as you can see, it's so like short in the width of this space. But I managed to get this um, from Kudos Showers. And basically, it's a wet room in here, but I wanted this to kind of come out a little bit to stop the water splashing onto the rest of the bathroom because I don't really like the idea of a wet room. 
Uh, but yeah, so then we go into the little shower. We've got little nicks to keep our shower gel and conditioner and shampoo. And then we've got the gold, amazing brass shower from Heritage Bathrooms. And yeah, that's basically it really with this space. I popped up some little shelves to house some little decor bits. We've got this cute little mirror. And yeah, that is basically the wet room, shower room space completely transformed. I did actually share this on my Instagram the other day for the first time, but yeah, it's only really just been finished. But there you go, complete transformation. Cool, so now let's go upstairs and I'll leave the downstairs bit to last because I feel like it's a bit of a showstopper and the best part, so let's go up. So as you can see with the stairs, these have been transformed. We went for the continuation from the downstairs hallway with the blue and the white. And then we've got this amazing um, carpet from Tappy Carpets or Carpet Right? Can't remember which one. I think it was tap. Mm. Carpet right. It was carpet right. Yeah. I really love it, and we and I always wanted this kind of like Victorian, the runner up the stairs in the centre with the gold bars. I love it. So yes, yeah, so then we come up, and we'll go into this room, which is the master bedroom. So let's go in. Uh, by the way, the dogs are running around during this. I don't even know what they're doing. So you might hear some barking or some snoring or yeah. Anyway, coming into the master bedroom. So. I've already posted this on my YouTube where I shared a full transformation of this room. But yeah, here, here it is again. Um, I love this space. It's super cosy at night with the dark walls. Like I really do love a dark interior. And I feel like at night you can just put some candles on, pop your little side like lamps on, on bedside tables. And it just feels really, really cosy. <laughs> Really, really cosy. Luna loves a big bed, don't you? Really, really cosy in here. Um, the walls we got Incra Blue from Farrow, Farrow and Bull. Love that brand. Um, yeah, I mean, again, tropical vibes. We went for one kind of feature wall with Cole and Sons wallpaper, which I absolutely love. Um, yeah, and we've got a neon sign above the bed. There's still a few bits that I want to do in here. Like, I really would love to put a giant mirror here but I just haven't found one yet so yeah there's lots of little bits that we can still do to this house in terms of decor and stuff but the main bulk of it is done and yeah we love this space it's super cozy and relaxing I mean as you can tell from <laughs> baby Lula on the bed um but yeah we've got this little area here where it's just kind of like a little bit of a cozy corner really for Robin to get ready tv we didn't have a TV in here for ages, but then we were like, now nah, let's get a telly in here. And it's quite nice because sometimes like, if me and Robin want to watch different things, he can chill in the bed up here and I'll be with the dogs downstairs or vice versa. Um, but yeah, love this space. And actually in here was only recently finished because again, we've got the window painted white. They were all brand new PVC before, but we've got them all painted white and it looks so much nicer now. Um, but yeah, right, let's go back into the hallway. Cool, so let's go back into the hallway, further along now to this space now we've not really done anything with this space um basically this is our spare room we just got it painted white the floors changed and then all we've done is literally popped in robin's old bed from his dad's house and then just this is actually my nan's which i want to upcycle i haven't done it yet because i don't actually know what i want to do with it but yeah we just put some little bits in here just so people can literally stay over we've also got like a, ru a rubbish corner, it's not really a rubbish corner, there's just like, this is like a bit of a storage room. Uh, but as you can see, it's light and airy and we literally just got it painted white, nothing crazy. Um, yeah, that's about it really. <laughs> I don't really know what else to say about this space because I haven't really done anything with it. Uh, but it's just great to have a room where guests can stay over. And then we've also got another mattress under here that pulls out so we can have two people stay, which is quite handy really and nice because we never could do that at our old house. Um, but yeah, let's go back along the hallway, the dogs are fighting. Being absolute rascals, aren't you? Hey, while mummy's trying to feel. Okay, cool. Then the hallway kind of goes, it's like a T shape. So we'll go into the bathroom now, which I love. This space is so light and airy because of this ginormous window, which is amazing. And also as well, because of these windows here. So before, um, the this wall went all the way up to here and there was just a single panel of windows at the top but we kind of extended it and it because the hallway here was so dark before but now that giant window lets light through here and it's all so light and airy now and it's nice so yeah in here we've got giant cupboard for storage big boy get out and then giant bath oh 
obviously me and Robin love a bath. We have a bath every morning. It's so nice. Yeah, I just love this space. And yeah, the colour the color scheme, I just wanted to do, because basically I've tried to kind of do a bit of a theme with the house in terms of colours, but then at the same time, I kind of just like did what I wanted in each room. And it does kind of work and flow as you go through the house. Um, but yeah, there's a full transformation video of the bathroom up on my YouTube if you want to see. Um, I've got the tiles and tops tiles, which I love because they're kind of like a bit retro. Um, really just like big square pink tiles. Wallpaper from Cole and Sons, you'll see a theme because I literally am obsessed with Cole and Sons wallpaper, it's amazing. Um, and it's also such a nice quality. We nearly went for like a tropical theme in here again, but then I fell in love with this kind of like scallop mermaid -y scale print wallpaper. So yeah, absolutely love it. And it just works so well in the space. And then I just kind of decorated with a few little nice bits, made it feel really cozy in here and relaxing. Um, but yeah, I just love how light and airy it is really. Cool, let's go back out into the hallway now. So back into the hallway, we've got these two cupboards just for storage, really, really great. Before they were just like weird shelves um, and we weren't really sure what we were gonna do with it, but we've got these cupboards, like cupboard doors made with little gold handles and the blue matches the blue in the hallway. So it kind of like continues because we couldn't really continue the paneling and stuff down this section because there was already this um, picture rail, not picture rail, what's it called here, dado rail? This dado rail was too high up and skinny. So, and because it just doesn't, it feels like a separate kind of part of the hallway, we kind of kept it like this. Um, but yeah, let's go through. I just decorated with some more pampas grass. You'll see a theme, absolutely love it. And then we'll go to the top floor, which is my space. So we got the carpet continued all the way up, so it works. But other than that up here, we just got it painted white, all nice and fresh. Come on you, and you. And then basically you can either go this way or this way. We'll go this way first. So this is my dressing room guys, which I actually posted the full transformation reveal video recently on YouTube. But if you missed it, this is it. So when you come in again, I've got a blue theme going on, but it's more like a pastel blue, which I love. And then also, obsessed with the zebra print carpet. Fell in love with this when I saw it, when me and Robin were like homeware shopping ages ago, and I had to have it, I had to have it. And I just love this space. I've got this island, which is so nice, because it houses like a lot of my jewelry, and it's just got more storage space for me. And then basically this side is like all of my beauty stuff. And then this side is all of my clothes. And it's just great to have everything stored away. Um, yeah, then I've got all my handbags on this little side glass brass table that I got from um, uh, West Elm. And yeah, I mean, you guys can see a really huge transformation in here, especially with the ceiling. So the ceiling before was here. This did not exist above there. The ceiling came to here. It was so low. It felt so cramped when you walked in here, um, but it's just made a huge difference just raising the ceiling how about like i'd say what 50 centimeters maybe i'd say um yeah it's just made a huge difference it feels bigger it feels light and airy up here i love it it's such a nice space and i can just store all of my stuff finally compared to the last house where i literally had no storage um but yeah before i mean the room was in a was in a bit of a state if i'm honest um it's it's a lot nicer now and i think you guys can tell and actually in here it was recently finished because we had the window painted white again um obviously i've got those blinds there which are great just obviously when i'm getting changed and stuff um but yeah cool this is my dressing room cool um also if you want to know what's in the wardrobes and stuff obviously watch my full um transformation video of my dressing room this is literally just a bit of a tour so let's go to my studio which is on the other side we passed this little nook which was meant to house my wedding dress but it's become a bit of a storage space for my stuff so that's where that is anyway let's come into here so this is my studio again i've actually filmed a full studio tour on youtube but this is a space oh do you know what guys it is so freaking nice to have a space where i can shoot all my stuff when we lived in our house before, I was shooting in my kitchen and having to set up my lights every day. They're already set up, it's so good. 
Uh, but yeah, if you want to know about my equipment and everything, it is um, all detailed in the studio tour. I'll pop links below to um, all of my previous videos, but yeah, check out the playlist. Um, again, in here, we raised the ceiling. So the ceiling before was literally where the top of the window frame was um, going across. So it's very, very low. Um, we've got the boiler, which is here, which is all built in. We've got this cupboard built in just to hide it so it's a bit neater. Um, but yeah, it just feels so much better in here having that ceiling raised. Full transformation again. Um, but yeah, this is just literally where I film all my videos. You'll probably recognise it coming a little bit more. We've got like, this is my little setup area here where I shoot my styling videos, which you guys probably recognise when I'm doing all my clicks and my kicks. Um, yeah, that's it really. Okay, I feel like we should go downstairs and I've actually never ever shown you guys my office because it's never really been properly finished so let's go to the office next right so we are going back down now <laughs> big boy you skidded and then we'll go back to the hallway and round to my office where the dogs have been playing with their zones so yeah this space you guys have never actually seen because I've never shown it it's still not 100% finished because I want to put loads of pictures up and stuff. But yeah, this is my office. So this is where the magic happens. Well, the second part of the magic. The magic happens in the studio. Robin does all the editing down here. So we've got this lovely big desk, which has got my iMac on it. Uh, it's just a really nice space to sit down and edit. Oh, it's so nice to have this space. And we kind of, like, moved, we've moved this room around so many times because it's a walkthrough room because obviously you have to walk through it to get to the utility and kitchen. So it's always awkward like where to put the desk. Everything felt so against the wall before but we brought the desk out a little bit and it's just made a huge difference. Um, we've got this lovely giant mirror which I'm obsessed with. This is kind of the mirror that I want upstairs but I just can't buy it again. I've got this little corner over here. I've got a lot of storage for all my Cricut stuff. I've got my Cricut maker there. Cute little shelf, lots of little bits of decor. Got a little sofa in here. Basically the dogs, as you can see, love to use this sofa when mummy and daddy are on the computer editing. Um, yeah, so it's got a cute little space there. And then behind over here, we've got the cupboard under the stairs. I'm not gonna show you, it's completely full and it's boring, but yeah, got this like little archway nook here, cupboard under the stairs. And then I upcycled my dad's bureau, which is there behind me. I've left one of my cleaning cloths when I was cleaning. Um, yes, yeah, so then we've got that, and I've got a few little bits in this shelving unit that I got from Swoon. Yeah, it's really, really cute. I've never really showed you guys this space. It's went through a lot to be transformed to this. This is actually one of the first rooms that we did in here with all the wallpaper and everything. It's just taken a while to actually like fill it and put all decor up. And it's constantly messy because of deliveries and stuff that I get in. I think that's why I've never really shown you guys. Um, but yeah, this is my office space, which you walk through to then go to the utility room. So this is the utility space. Um, if you guys are American, it might be something different. What would they call it? A laundry room? Um, so when you come in, we've got our washing machine and tumble dryer house behind these double doors. We've got a sink in here. We keep all the dogs like food in here and stuff. We've got extra storage in this cupboard. And it's really light and airy again. And I had to get these floor tiles when I saw them. Although, do not buy them. They are impossible to clean, honestly. You literally have to get on your hands and knees. And it's such a small space, so it doesn't... Well, you feel like it's not going to take long. It takes ages to clean this floor. I don't know why. It gets so filthy and it, the dirt just does not lift up. If anyone's got any tips, please help me out. There are cement tiles. Um, yeah, I don't think I'll be getting cement tiles again. Uh, but I, I, I fell in love with them and I had to get them. And then I just kept everything very neutral. We've got this from Howden's. So these are like kitchen units from Howden's. Um, it just works. I love it. And... Yeah, and obviously there's a bit of a continuation into the kitchen. So we've got these tiles in the kitchen as well. Um, I also thought I'd put them behind here because we had, this was like a, not a fireplace. They had loads of wood stored in here before. And I quite liked this little nook and I wanted to keep it. So I put these tiles there and I just think it looks quite nice and it's just a bit quirky. But yeah, I mean, this room before was, <laughs> it, it was not great, let's be honest. 
Um, there was a lot of pipes hanging out. It was just really dirty and grimy and it wasn't great. We kept the, um, the window and the back door where they were, but we changed them. We got new ones. Um, I love the window though, it's ginormous, such a lovely space. The only downside is we're continuously looking out onto this, which was meant to be my lovely courtyard. However, it's turned into a bit of a dumping ground. So this is where we recycle, we store all like garden bits and bobs, the bin bags, all, all the rubbish and everything it gets stored there. And sadly, I don't think I'm ever gonna have my lovely little courtyard out there because it's just the amount of parcels that obviously an influencer gets quite difficult to work with so yeah just a lot of storage out there for rubbish that's what that space is which isn't isn't great but hey ho um cool then yeah this is the utility room really there is a full transformation video on youtube again of this room then we go into the kitchen which is i mean the best room in the house so this is probably the best room in the house my favorite room in the house the room that we spend most of the time in especially because of lockdown guys this is the kitchen Come on in. Oh, honestly, like, it's so gold. All we've ever wanted was a giant open plan kitchen. We're an island, and we've got it. And it's amazing. I love the skylight. It's so light and airy in here. Like, okay, we went a bit overboard with the wallpaper, but actually, I love it, and it works. This wallpaper is from Divine Savages, and we got it put everywhere. Why the hell not? Um, I love this space. It's so nice. We actually recently added in this sideboard, which I'm obsessed with. Ignore everything underneath. We shove loads of stuff under there. Um, yeah, I'm obsessed with this sideboard. We've got all our alcohol in there. There's a bit of an alcohol cupboard. And also I keep some of the tablecloths for the table, um, place mats and stuff. And I've decorated it. I finally got all my Fornacetti plates out. I collect Fornacetti bits and bobs. I love the brand. Um, but yeah, this is the kitchen, full transformation video already on YouTube. Before, I think the kitchen literally came out to about here. So from the doorway, yeah, this was the kitchen before. It was horrendous. It was tiny. The ceiling was really low. It wasn't a nice space at all. There was rats living in the roof of the kitchen, which was pretty grim. So it was just wasn't usable and hence why we didn't live here for like a year because we had rats and it was gross and I did not want to live with rats. Um, but yeah, we had a full on kitchen extension done. They knocked the whole thing down, dug out the ground and built us this. And honestly, it's amazing. I'm obsessed with it. It's so nice to have guests around. We've got an amazing dining table and area where we can have guests dine. For Christmas, it's great. Like, it's just such an amazing space. Um, and I love these, love these covers. They light up actually, let me turn the lights on. If you guys can see, the range, oh, this oven is so good. Wanted a range, yeah, I mean, it's all detailed in the full video of the transformation of the kitchen, but I love it, I'm obsessed. So as you can see, the tiles are the same from the utility room, so it's a bit of a continuation of like the pink kind of theme. Uh, but yeah, I love the pink and black thing in here, it's amazing. And then we've got these giant bifold doors which open up onto the garden. I mean, the garden, bless us, we've not really had a summer here in the UK, so at the moment the garden isn't looking its best. Um, I think we've had like one or two weekends where the weather's been insane. So everything is sort of piled up under the pergola to keep it dry, like our sun lounges and stuff. Uh, but yeah, I'll show you a little sneaky peek of the garden. Uh, but obviously, if you want to see the full garden, I will insert videos and stuff when it's looking its best, because right now it is not. But yeah, we've got this patio area where we normally have like nice patio furniture here, but obviously we've stored it away at the moment. Um, yeah, then we've got the hot tub, which is so nice. Like, oh, that was the best purchase we've ever made. The hot tub, we love it. And then, yeah, the garden before, I mean, you guys can see it was horrendous. It was so overgrown. It wasn't really, I mean, it wasn't really a proper garden, really. You couldn't use the space. But now we've made it so that we can, you know, have our bifolds open. We can have dinner with the doors open at our dining table. Or we can eat outside. We can eat under the pergola. Like, it's such a nice space but to have, like, friends around, um, which is what something that we could never do in our old house that we love to do here. Um, but yeah, again, continued that theme of like pink and black to tie in with the kitchen. Um, 
Yeah. And then this is the garden, really. A little bit, um, well, yeah, it's just a bit sad today because it's not very sunny and I've not really got it all jazzed up for you guys. But yeah, that is it. Is that is that the house tour? I feel like that is the house tour done. Apart from we do have a garage, which is through that door at the back under the pergola. So again, just more storage. I'm not going to show you that because there's a lot in the garage and it's boring. You don't want to see my garage. Um, but yeah, we can access it from like the, the back of our house, basically. Um, but yeah, that is that is it, guys, I think. So yeah, guys, this is the finished house tour. I hope you've enjoyed seeing me take you guys around. Um, obviously, if you want like proper full in-depth um, like inf info on decor, the transformation of each room, then I've got pretty much every room tour and transformation of the renovation on my playlist of my home renovations are here on YouTube. There's one or two rooms that aren't on there, like the shower room and the office, but I think maybe I'll, I'll do that in a few weeks. Um, but yeah, I just knew you guys were waiting for this house tour and wanted to see the whole house finished and all together. Gutted I couldn't show you the garden properly, but again, the full garden renovation is here on YouTube. Um, but yeah, what do you guys think? I mean, yeah, we went through a lot with this house. It's taken us, I'd say, two and a half years, really, to get it like this. And yeah, two and a half years, two and a half years to get it like this. So it's a, it's a long time, um, but it most of it got done like at the beginning, sort of within the first year, but it's just like, we, there was loads of little annoying bits left and if you guys have seen my vlog like the front of the house has only really just been done in the last month and all the other little bits and bobs around the house like the windows being painted and stuff but yeah it's pretty much all done now and it's just so nice like to just have this space and have it so colorful and quirky in your personality in the house like I genuinely never knew that I could inject my style into a house um, so yeah, it's been really rewarding seeing the process that each room has gone through. Like I know editing this video back, I'm going to be like, what? At all the rooms and the spaces and stuff. Cause yeah, every room literally got stripped back bare and completely changed. Um, but yeah, it's been a journey. It's a journey that I have said many times, why am I doing this? I will never do this again. Like it has been so stressful, but yeah, like I said, it's been rewarding and it's amazing having this stunning house now to enjoy and to live in. Um, but yeah, thanks so much for watching guys. Any questions, pop them below. And yeah, don't forget to check out the rest of my house renovations videos here on YouTube. Take care guys. And I'll see you in another video very, very soon.